Hi friends, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are shopping, decorating, cleaning, you name it, it's in this video. So definitely be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy these videos and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you and let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to take you guys shopping with me because I have basically fully decorated my house for fall, but I had a gift card to Home Goods and I wanted to check out a couple of places around town just to see if they had any new things. And honestly, as I was going through some different stores, I noticed everything was pretty picked over and most of the stores actually had Christmas decor out. So if you have not yet decorated for fall or you are waiting until closer to Thanksgiving, you may want to get started on that now because I was shocked at how little there was out there on the shelves and how much Christmas stuff was already being put in. There was lots of Halloween stuff though and I don't normally decorate for Halloween um, and especially not this year because we won't even be in town for Halloween but they had lots of Halloween things and tons of Christmas stuff so be sure to head to the store if you haven't decorated for the fall yet. I am also really excited because later in the video I am going to show you guys how I used a couple of the things that I got from home goods to decorate and kind of rearrange some things in the house but also we're decorating the outside of the house the front steps and that whole area like that and there's gonna be so much cleaning motivation you guys are not gonna want to miss it so definitely be sure to hit the like button if you're enjoying this video so far no we can't stay no more All right, so I only got a few things at Home Goods, and I wanted to show them to, um, to you guys. I'm sure you could see by the clips, there was a lot of picked over things. Josie's came, came to join us. Um, but I just laid them up here on my bed because I'm gonna kind of play around with some decor and kind of rearrange some things that I have. So I got this little sign. I think I wanna hang this up downstairs. Not sure yet, we'll find out. Um, this I had to get. Um, it's just like a little Ray Dunn mug that says teacher fuel. And I love it because, I don't know if you guys can see, it's yellow on the inside. Um, I love it. I think it is so cute. And it comes with a coaster. So I may take this to school or I may use it here. I haven't decided. But anyway, last thing I got was a lantern and I already have a lantern downstairs. So I'm actually kind of thinking I want to use this in the master bedroom. Again, I'm gonna kind of play around with things. She's gonna help me. We're gonna see where things are gonna go. I kind of wanna decorate up here a little bit more, rearrange some things. So let's just kind of see where all of the inspiration here takes me. All right, so you guys are gonna have to excuse the sound of my washing machine in the background, but um, I wanted to share my Trader Joe's haul with you guys on here too, because I go to Trader Joe's hardly ever, except maybe like once or twice a year when they have seasonal fun items out. And I just wanted to kind of show you what I got. And um, if you, any of this stuff interests you, then you should check out Trader Joe's and pick it up. I got a variety of things. Some are like breakfast things, some are snack things, some are dinner things. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna start over here. So the first thing that I got were these pumpkin spice coffee K-Cups. And I have gotten these before. These are the Trader Joe's brand. And these are cake cups and I take them to work because I have a Keurig there and I just love these. They feel very fall-like, um, excuse my nails. <laughs> They're very fall-like and my coworkers really like them too. So if they like need a cup of coffee, they know they can come get some of these from me. 
And then the next thing that I got is more of like a lunch dinner thing. Um, it's creamy corn and roasted pepper, roasted pepper soup. And they have a bunch of these um, like all year long and they're just in this like container, um, like cardboard container. Uh, they had a bunch of different kinds. And then I got two kinds of cookies. So these are the pumpkin flavored JoJo's. Um, they're like a pumpkin sandwich cookie. And then I also got the Halloween ones. So they have like little jack-o'-lantern faces on them. But they were so cute. So I got two boxes of those. And then I got this. It's like the holy grail of snacks at Trader Joe's for me. I don't know why, but it is like maple flavored kettle corn. And it has just like a little bit of salt. So it's like salty and sweet. I honestly could have bought like six bags. But I didn't, I restrained myself and just got one. And then these are apple cider donuts and we are probably going to dig into these maybe this weekend. Um, I just kind of like wanted like some kind of fun little breakfast item for me to have with my coffee. Really excited for those. And then this, um, Jack and I got this last year and made some really delicious pasta with this. And it is a pumpkin and butternut squash pasta sauce. And you can put this on like any kind of pasta. I have some like fall, like autumnal looking pasta from last year. So I could make like a fun pasta dish with this. He really likes this. So I got a can of that. And then this is another breakfast item because sometimes we like to do breakfast for dinner or just, I don't know, make breakfast to make breakfast. Cause why not? And we don't ever really do like fancy breakfast unless we go out. Um, but we got this to make our own fancy breakfast. Um, here at my house. So this is a, I guess, what kind of bread is this? I guess it's like a, oh, brioche. It's like a brioche kind of bread. And it has like spices kind of melded into it. I don't really know how to explain it. To me, it just looked like marbled bread, <laughs> but it's already like, uh, it's already seasoned and everything. I don't know guys, it just looks so good. I don't know if we're gonna make it for like French toast or maybe just toast it and eat it as it is, but that looked really good. And then this pumpkin um, bread and muffin mix I get every single year. I usually make the bread and it's pretty good. You can eat it for breakfast, just eat it to eat it. But this is really good. And then the last thing are these fall <laughs> tortilla chips, which is just probably the most extra thing I've ever seen, but they're shaped like little leaves. And I just couldn't leave the store without buying these. So those will be good with like salsa and stuff for you know, football games and stuff on the weekend. But as you can tell, the theme here is mostly snacks. Um, they're fall snacks and stuff, but they did have some other stuff and they had tons of other things too. We just didn't pick it up. They had like apple cider and they had lots of pumpkin flavored things in the frozen section as well. So definitely go check out Trader, check out Trader Joe's if um, this type of food interests you. A lot of pumpkin flavored things, but anyway, thought I'd share with you guys in case you're interested. Just love it. All right guys, now comes the serious cleaning motivation I was promising you earlier. We decided to get a power washer to power wash my front steps because as you guys can probably see in this video and you've probably seen it in several videos where I've shown the front of my house that the front steps have gotten really, really disgusting. I don't think that I have cleaned them one time since I moved in and I'm not even sure that they were power washed or clean when I bought the house. Honestly, it's been so long I can't really remember, but we got this power washer and it's an electric Ryobi power washer. It works really, really well. It comes with three different nozzles. So if you know anything about power washing, which really, to be honest, I didn't know that much about it. I decided to give it a try, but I let Jack do basically all of this because he said he really enjoyed power washing and it was kind of messy and these steps were covered with dirt and I guess like algae or some kind of, I don't know, green slimy stuff was growing on them and I just wanted it gone. So you guys are definitely gonna wanna stick around till the end of this because there are some incredibly satisfying before and afters.
Because I don't have an actual front porch, there's not any cover over this area here, then I feel like that's why the steps tend to get super messy. I'm also pretty limited to what I can use to decorate with here. I wanted to use hay bales so badly, but I know that the second it rains or we get some kind of weather come through our area, it's going to turn into like mold and mildew city. <laughs> and I just didn't want to put anything out that couldn't get wet. And that includes signs and things like that. I love those signs that they had at home goods and I really really want one but I just feel like if it were to sit out too long it would get completely ruined so if you don't have a front porch like I do and you just have some steps let me know in the comments how you guys like to decorate because sometimes I'm just completely out of ideas besides pumpkins and flowers I just need some more inspiration so let me know down below what you do at your home It got me stone cold step was kind of giving everything a good rinse down and what I love about this power washer is if you use it on the right setting it's just great for rinsing things off it doesn't really do like the pressure washing it just kind of lightly gets everything off and there was so much dirt everywhere and the white railing was pretty disgusting after we did the majority of the power washing I would really like to get this whole railing repainted at some point but this just cleaned everything right up and I cannot believe how amazing it turned out it actually looks even better as it dries if you've ever power washed before I didn't really notice the difference until all the bricks started to dry now I'm just putting my new fall mat up here on the front step and then some mud one of these is going to bloom into a beautiful orange color and then the other one is kind of like a purple color and I decided to get these ones because they hadn't fully bloomed yet and then I got a few pumpkins at Wegmans just small ones for now we will probably go back and get bigger orange ones closer to Halloween because we will probably carve them but I just really love how this turned out and the steps look so clean almost so clean I dare say you could eat off of them <laughs> but I just love how it turns out and the whole mat area here is so clean and shiny I would love to put a few more things up here so again give me those ideas down below if you have any All right, moving on to decorating the inside of the house and just kind of moving some things around and some finishing touches. So I decided to hang this little sign up here in the master bedroom because I didn't have too many fall things and I thought that this wall was skinny enough that the sign would work perfectly. And then I decided to use this lantern upstairs like I thought. I have another one downstairs that's black and I just kind of felt like this one looked better with the decor up here. So I left the black one downstairs and I didn't want to put a candle in it so instead I just grabbed a few small pumpkins that I had around the house. I had a ton of these and I just kind of scattered them everywhere so I collected a few from around the different places in the house to fill this lantern and then I did some more shopping within my own house and I already had this galvanized tin here and some of the fall leaves so I'm just kind of playing around with a few places for some of these items. I'm sure I'm not the only one that does this, but I just move things around so many times. I'm so indecisive. I don't know where I want things to go. Let me know in the comments if that is the kind of decorator you are too. Just when I think I have absolutely everything perfect, I have to make a few more adjustments. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and light this candle here and I think everything is totally finished and the way I want it to be. But that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it and it gave you tons of motivation today. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new. I would love to have you and I will see you guys again very soon with a brand new video. Bye guys.